what is up you guys welcome back to another final cut pro tutorial today i'm going to show you guys this super dope glitch effect you don't need any plugins all you have to do is download the video in my description to get the glitch overlay shout out to the creators who made it and let's get started so this is a clip that we're going to be working with today the first thing you're going to want to do is copy and paste your clip and put it on top of the original clip that you had and then after that we can go inside the effects panel and type in draw mask and just drop it on there after that you're going to want to just mass out your subject all the way until you're done So after we're done masking out our subject, we're gonna to wanna to put keyframes. And we can just head over to the drop down menu and set keyframes on the transform and the control points. So after that, we're just gonna go through our clip and move our mask every time our subjects move, just to make sure it's aligned right. Once we're done making sure our mask aligns with our subject, we can go over and grab our glitch overlay and just find a part in the pack that you like. I'm gonna just look through and I think I like this part right here. So I'm gonna grab this and just drag it down. And the next thing you're gonna do is move the glitch between the two clips, your mask and the original clip. And it should look something like this. Next, we're gonna wanna click on our overlay clip and then we're gonna wanna head over to blend modes and then we're gonna click on the drop down menu and we're going to want to make sure that we click vivid light and then after we click it your clip will look like this and to be able to get the glitch um you know overlay inside of your mask you're going to want to clip that clip and then we're just going to hit inverse mask and if we play our clip it's going to look something like this and you can play with the feather or the fall off to really get it inside your subject and to really excel the glitch effect, we're gonna copy and paste our clip that's on the top. And after you paste it, you can go over to the effects panel and type in bad TV. After you drag it on there, you're gonna to wanna to bring it to the top over your draw mask and then change um, it into TV static. And just like the first time to make sure the glitch gets inside your subject, you just wanna to go to the blend modes and hit the drop down menu and click on pen light. And then we hit play, our effect is gonna look something a little like this. And you guys can go ahead and play with the sliders on the bad TV effect to turn it up or down. The more you turn it up, the more glitch is gonna have. Feel free to play or try different ways. Let me know down in the comments how it went for you guys. And for all my new watchers, please hit the like and subscribe button. And I hope you guys enjoyed.